352-867-1965. That's 352-867-1965. Ocala's Information Station, 1370 WOCA. Ocala! All right, four minutes after 11 o'clock. Thank you for tuning in. How are you doing anyway? It is the fourth day of the second month, and about about a month ago, you were probably on track. If you had made up your mind at the end of 2013 that you were going to uh, lose weight and become healthier um, and or become healthier. So in some cases, some people, it's not about losing weight. It's just about becoming healthier. Uh, and maybe you've fallen off that track, and this happens a lot to all of us, so don't, don't feel so bad because we're kind of all in the same boat. Our next guest has a story that will inspire you for sure. Her name is Laura Dion Jones. She's on the phone. She's got a book. It's called Commit to Get Fit. Find the secret to your own true and everlasting weight loss. And it says, warning, this is not your typical diet and fitness book. Robin, you and I had on the show um, John Bastow. And I remember asking John, John's in excellent shape. He's one of those guys that just knows how to do it and does it right and, and is a great inspiration himself. But I remember asking him, John, were you ever, were you ever heavy? And he said, yeah, yeah, go to my site, look at, look at the picture. And he wasn't really, he wasn't really. Um, but, but still, not that his information isn't good. I'm just trying to compare. Uh, our next guest was 317 pounds. I hope she doesn't mind me saying that. Wow. It is on the back of her book. Uh, that's where she was, and she lost at least 150, I think, from what I'm looking at here. Beautiful lady, and looks like she does a radio show and a TV show as well. Um, she is a pro-health activist, a certified corporate wellness coach, a TV and radio host. There it is. Uh, one of the one of People magazine's uh, and Dove's 50 most beautiful women over 50. I think that's awesome. There you go. A lifestyle advice writer and, uh, again, the book Commit to Get Fit. Good morning, Laura Dion Jones. Good morning, Laura. Good morning. How are you? I'm all right. I hope I'm okay. I hope I didn't cross any lines there, but I thought your story was so uh, inspiring that it was uh, important to tell. Thank you. It is. If That's what everybody tells me. Yeah. And where are you right now? We are in Chicago. I'm in Chicago, and we are waiting for another five to ten inches that will start this afternoon. That's right, you guys. They, they're calling it the the trifecta of bad weather. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> that's what I heard. You know something? This is the first winter that we've had like this in many years. So we were due. Yeah, yeah. We were we were due. Well, you know what and it is? It's can- it's that global cooling. <laughs> Well, yeah, that vortexy thing. I guess. <laughs> you guys don't. You, how's the weather down by you? Oh, you don't want to know. It's beautiful. Oh, I don't. We're in Florida. You, <laughs> you know we're in Florida, right? I know you're in Florida. I know you're in Ocala. And guess what? I'm a native of Florida. Where? Where are you from? Coral Gables. Oh, okay, okay. Pretty area. Cool. I know. So, what can I tell you? First, I want to know what's the two thousand pound cow doing on the wall? What is that? Um, you know what? Several years ago in Chicago, we had the uh, cow exhibit, uh-huh. and there were I don't know how many cows all over the city. Businesses sponsored them. They gave them to artists to paint, and it was one of the biggest and best tourist attractions that Chicago has ever had. Oh, wow. And then at the end of the summer, they auctioned them off, and the guy who owned Talbot Hotel bought the ladybug cow. And one day, I was out walking with my husband. And we saw the cow, and I took a picture of it. And he said, what are you going to do with that? And I said, I'm going to write an article. And I came home, and I wrote the piece about if the 2,000-pound cow can take a walk, why can't you? Oh, and, I love that. And you've, <laughs> That's excellent. And you've walked over 35,000 miles in 10 years? Yes, I have. Since, since January 1st of 2003, when I began walking in earnest, and I have documentation on every step that I have taken, I have walked over, over 35,000 miles. So one oh, thing, one thing I want to comment on is you're beautiful and and you look really you. great. The the weight loss really has um, become you, but I'm glad you got rid of the beads too. I I, I just think the beads didn't become oh, you at all. Come on. <laughs> you know what? You know what? You're good at Mardi Gras. Says, oh, she, thank you, Robin. Thank you. A girl would notice that because you know everybody looks at my before picture when I was 317 pounds. Right. Ago. 
man, when you were fat, you sure wore a lot of jewelry. And I was a party bra. Robin's right. Oh, you're right. <laughs> well, in that case, we love those beads. That was, it was February of 02. That was February of 02. <laughs> so, so getting back to the weight loss, gosh, we only have a short visit with you. I didn't realize that. So let me get let me cut to the chase, I guess. Did, did the walking supplement the weight loss or, or was the was it the main reason for the weight loss? Well, I have to tell you something. A good diet, a good effective diet, and daily cardio go hand in hand. And my husband said to me, you play at working out. Because the first year, I only lost 40 pounds. But when you're 317, that's stellar. I mean, yeah. I cherished every, every pound that I lost. But he was right. I played at working out. They say it takes 35 days to make or break a habit. So I made a pact on January 1st of 2003 with my two little Italian greyhounds. And I said, you got to do this with me every day because I can't do it alone. And we haven't stopped since. The greyhounds? And the miniature greyhounds, Italian greyhounds and I, we haven't okay. stopped walking since. Oh. So they're still around? So they're still, yeah, one of them passed and we oh. have another one. Okay. Uh, okay. But, but I cannot stress the importance of daily cardio enough. And these, quote, experts, unquote, who say, oh, all you need to do is exercise 20 minutes a day, three days a week. They're full of it because if that's all I did, I would still I would be four hundred and seventeen. Oh, I love you now. saying that because I've often thought that that like doesn't sound right because the people like John Basetown. Do you know who John is, by the way? No, I don't. Okay, but but he's another guy who can tell you how to lose weight. I okay. guess. Okay, but 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 the idea is he. I mean, he doesn't do that. He mm -hmm. he doesn't do every other day or something like that. He's no, every, no, he's every no, day. It, when you're when you're chronically obese, when you haven't been used to exercising every day. If you take one or two or three days off, you're done. You're finished. I had did a seminar in Memphis, and you know how they talk down in Memphis? <laughs> well, I had a woman. I had one woman say to me, "Why, well, Miss Laura, Sunday's the Lord's Day, and do I even have to walk on Sunday? And I said, well, I'm, so I give it right back to him, right? And I go, why, well, Miss Suzanne, you <laughs> You eat on Sunday, don't you? Uh -huh. And that, right? You know? That's right. You eat, you walk. That's, That's right. the end of the story. You walk an hour a day. If you do it seven days a week and you have to take off the day because you have a meeting or a speech or you got to take your kids to soccer, no big deal. But if you miss two days and then the chances are that you're going to start blowing it off if you haven't developed the hardcore habit. It's dangerous. Seven days a week, period. End of story. So what Work up to an hour a day. Work up to an hour a day. So what did you change in your eating? What did you change? I changed in my eating. I went totally low carb. I went on a modified Atkins, and I firmly believe that part of the obesity epidemic in our country is due mostly to white starch and sugar and inactivity. If people would cut the white starch and sugar from their diet, Combine it with an hour a day of cardio, working up to that hour a day. If you're not used to walking yeah. or doing that much cardio, give yourself a couple weeks, work up to that, let that be your goal. And I'm telling you, the weight will boil right off. I really like the fact that you state that a person has to want to, and then they go ahead and do it. Because that oh, wanting, absolutely. you have to do it. I can't do it for them. And that's what I stress in my seminars and my talks. You gotta wanna, you gotta wanna, you gotta wanna. I can't wanna for you, your husband can't wanna for you, your wife can't wanna for you. You gotta wanna, you gotta be sick <laughs> you gotta wanna. of hauling. You gotta wanna, that's my tagline. I love that. Um, you, gotta be, you gotta be sick of hauling yourself around. I gotta tell you something. From being a chronically obese woman uh, for 50 years, um, my weight was up to 300 pounds three times in my life. This time I went over the line at, at 317. I woke up from a food-induced coma. You just absolutely got to want to. And it's so much more difficult to keep the weight on, to, to, to be agonizing and stressing about it every day and hating yourself because you can't leave those donuts alone or you can't leave this alone or you can't leave that alone. It's so much easier to get on a program that's easy, that's manageable, that you can stay on for life because that's one of the crucial keys the true and everlasting weight loss is you got to pick a diet that you can make your lifestyle. I think you're and right. And I wish we yeah. had more time. I wish we had more time. I know. I, I know. I'm loving the interview, God. Laura. 
I know you probably got a lot of radio shows. You are. You you got the. It's an open invitation, Laura. Uh, Let me give away the book. I you sent me a book, so I'm going to give it to a listener. Call me if you want the book from Laura Dion Jones. It's called Commit to Get Fit. Uh, If you call me right now, it's yours. The rest of us have to go buy it. Let me give this one away real quickly. Good morning. You've got the book. Who's this? Betty. Betty, come and pick up the book. I will do that. It'll be waiting for you. All right, Laura. Do you have a website? Betty. Yes, I do. It is Commit Dash Fit. Dot com commit hyphen fit dot com and my email is laura at commit dash fit dot com and tell Betty the book you have is an advanced copy for Give the Typos. Um, the books that are on sale right now are through my website, Amazon, iTunes, Barnes and Noble. They're the they're the real final final version. But we wanted we were so excited to get you a copy that the one you have is an advanced copy, so please forgive a typo or two. Okay. Uh, Laura, thank you so much for being on the air with us. I don't call it a typo uh, um, issue. I, I call it a, a collector's item. Yes. <laughs> thank you. Thank- Listen, you guys want me back on. Please make arrangements. You have my contact info. I would love to come on and do a little bit more in-depth segment for your listeners. And you know what? If you're ever in Florida, we do the broadcast from a mall. We have our mall walkers every morning that walk right past the window here. Oh, you're kidding. How wonderful. Yeah. So if, if, I, you, if I make it down, I'll come and walk with y'all. And we're right by the food court. <laughs> <laughs> oh. yeah, but, they're not, but they're not open when the, when the walkers are here. <laughs> well, you know what? I could tell you something. I could show anybody how to eat low carb at any food court, at any fast food joint. It's in the carbohydrates. You eat the burger, not the bun. You eat the chicken sandwich with grilled, no breading. All the trimmings, bacon, lettuce, tomato, mm, mayonnaise. Sounds like a good idea. No bun. No bun, no fries. All right. Uh, Laura, you are an inspiration. Thank you for being on the air with us today. I, it's totally my pleasure. And you're and beautiful. So even even the beads look good. <laughs> uh, 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 thank you so much. Thank you, Laura. All right. We will take a little break and be right back. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County is a ministry dedicated to improving lives by providing affordable and decent housing. Help them help others by visiting the Habitat for Humanity Ocala Restore at 926 Northwest 27th Avenue. To schedule a donation, give us a call at 401-0075 and we'll come pick it up. For more information, visit ocalarestore.org. Habitat for Humanity of Marion County. Building homes, building hope, building community. AA Lock, Dock, and Security has moved to a brand new location and wants to personally invite you to the spectacular grand opening event on Friday, February 7th. Come by and see the very latest in lock and security technologies. WOCA will be there broadcasting live and giving away some station swag and some fantastic prizes from top name brands like Stanley, Honeywell, Paxton Access, Aeromedico, Masterlock, and more. Plus, we're giving away not one, but two grand prizes. A home security system fully installed and monitored for a full year. And a business access control keyless entry system fully installed. There'll be hot dogs, hamburgers, drinks, and more. So bring a friend and come help us celebrate with food, fun, and prizes for the new location grand opening of AA Lock, Dock, and Security. It's all happening Friday, February 7th at the brand new location, 219 Northwest 10th Street, just a tenth mile east of 441. That's Friday, February 7th, AA Lock, Dock, and Security. Hi, Danny Warfel here. Get moving with Florida Credit Union's fast and easy loan approval process. Let Florida Credit Union start up a new car loan for you today. No more waiting, hassles, or stop signs. You can even apply online. With a strong financial team behind you, you can enjoy great rates and fast approvals. It's all about personalized service and a streamlined process. Florida Credit Union, connecting your money to your life. How good does it get? Golf has long been considered to be sport's most prestigious game, and WOCA has your connection to everything in the golf world. Every first and third Thursday at 10 a.m., tune in for Let's Talk Golf with your host, PGA professional and teacher to the stars, Jim Beckett, and operations manager for the links of Spruce Creek South, Darren Irwin, right here on The Source. 
Bernadette, and I'm here to tell you a few things about ABC Frederick's Appliance. They sell not only new, but used guaranteed appliances. When you call ABC Frederick's Appliance, they will provide service on what they sell and any appliances that you own. ABC Frederick's Appliance is located in Bellevue, right over the railroad tracks. Call 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. That's 352-629-5181. ABC Frederick's Appliance. Hi, I'm Leah Caruso with Strive Rehabilitation, inviting you to join me Thursday at 11 a.m. for Health Matters. Ocala Health and Strive have teamed up to bring you the latest information on good health services available to you right here at home. This vital information will help you make informed decisions about your health. So don't forget to join me here at 11 a.m. Thursday. It's news you can use from Ocala Health, Strive, and your friends here at WOCA. Hi, Robin. You look tired. I am. I've been running all over town. Why? Why not drive? I need to get this stupid document notarized. Well, that's easy. You need personal service. Duh. That's what I've been looking for. You need to go see Mark at the Personal Service Center. He can notarize that for you, make copies, fax it wherever, or send it out in the mail. Heck, he can even scan it and email it for you. Really? Where is he at? 2375 Northeast 25th Avenue, on the corner of Northeast 25th Avenue and 24th Street. You can call him at 789-6683. Personal Service Center. Thanks, Larry. We're not just the horse capital of the world. Ocala Marion County is now the hoops capital, too, thanks to the 2013 National Champion CF Patriots basketball team. The McDonald All-State Agency brings you the reigning kings of the court.